Look at that. Look how good they look. Bacon, soft gooey cheese and jalapenos. If that's not the best looking snack food, I don't know what is. Mm. G'day, I'm Shuey. Welcome to Smoked Barbecue Sauce, where we want to help you improve your barbecue game. Today, I'm going to be smoking some bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. These are a super easy dish to make, so let's get into it. Now, to make some jalapeno poppers, we're obviously going to need some jalapenos. Make sure you grab the biggest ones you can, and now we just need to de-seed them. You want to make sure that you're wearing some gloves because you don't want to touch the seeds or the membrane and then touch your face or anywhere worse. Then using a sharp knife, cut each one in half from stem to tip. Now using a small spoon, scrape out the seeds and the membrane. Do this for each one of them and discard the seeds and the membrane and take the gloves off when you're done. If you do want a bit of heat though, put some of the seeds aside and you can put some of them back in. Onto the filling now, and I think a 50-50 mix of cream cheese and cheddar cheese is the perfect combo. They melt really well and they don't overpower anything. Start by adding four ounces of room temp cream cheese and two teaspoons of your favorite barbecue rub. I'm using Elk Creek's AP rub today. Now, if you do like a little bit of extra heat, you can add some of the seeds if you did save them. Now, once you've mixed in the rub all throughout the cream cheese, using a butter knife, spread enough of the cream cheese into each jalapeno half so it is nearly full. We need to leave room for a piece of cheddar to go on top. Once you have each jalapeno half filled with cheese, it's time to wrap them in streaky bacon. One piece of bacon per jalapeno half is more than enough. It's easy enough to do, just wrap one piece of bacon all the way around and using a toothpick, just put it through the side and that'll hold it all together. Just like that, absolutely perfect. Now all that's left to do is give these bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers a dusting with the same rub we used in the cream cheese. No need to go too heavy, just a light dusting will be fine. And we can just push these aside until we get the barbecue ready. I need a high indirect heat of around 460 degrees Fahrenheit today. So I'm going to be using my 22 inch Weber kettle and I'm going to be pairing it up with a kettle cone or vortex. I'll start by three quarter filling a chimney starter with briquettes. I'll light them up once they're fully ashed over. I'll place the kettle cone in the middle of the charcoal grate and I'll dump all the briquettes. I'll place the grill back in and I'll put the lid back on, opening all the vents and I'm going to let that warm up for about 10 minutes. While we wait, now's a good time to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The Weber's had 10 minutes to warm up, so it's time to get these jalapeno poppers on the grill. Now just add the jalapeno poppers to the outside of the grill, because this is where that high heat from the kettle cone is being forced. We'll also add a chunk of cherry wood and put a lid back on and we're going to set a timer for 30 minutes. The Weber lid vent creates a hot spot directly underneath it as that cold air is sucked in through the bowl vents over our food and out that vent. So to ensure an even cook, I recommend turning the lid a third of the way every 10 minutes. The poppers have been on for 30 minutes. It's time to lift that lid and see what we've created. Look at that. Look how good they look. We just need to get them off the heat and let them cool for a couple of minutes. No one needs third degree burns from melted cheese. It's like molten lava. I love an easy side dish and jalapeno poppers don't come any easier. Bacon, soft gooey cheese, barbecue rub and jalapenos. Seriously, it's perfect. If you'd like to check out this recipe a little further, there's a link in the description to the website where you'll find a wealth of information on barbecue. Cheers and thanks for watching.